Hey, what's up guys? Steven, the salon guy here and happy new year. I hope you all have a great start to 2015 and I'm super excited to be uh, bringing a new video for you guys. I have gotten so many requests for this. I'm talking like over the last year, year and a half and I just, you know, I said, oh, it's kind of outdated, but you know what? The comments and the requests have just gotten too flooded. So here it is guys, the Leonardo DiCaprio haircut from the movie Titanic. I know you've all been waiting for this, so I'm ready to go. Let's get started. All right, guys, first thing we're going to do in the back is we're going to establish our length and we're going to cut it probably to about right here. And we're going to just kind of cut this straight across like this. And then we're going to bring everything down to this one point right through here. This is our guideline and basically our base in the back. And we're going to continue to do this throughout the whole back of the head. So when you're done uh, cutting this, and when I'm done cutting the whole back, we're going to come back to this one point here. And then we're going to start to work this in through the um, corners into here and into the sides. All right, so the back length is complete in through here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to just hold everything straight out. And I'm going to start to layer it just like this, okay? Now remember, we're leaving the length, as much as the length as we can throughout the top and also the back. Because he does have it kind of going back like this. So you want to make sure that you are maintaining a good amount of the length. But you also want to layer it as well to give it a little bit of uh, shape and movement. And also so that it tapers down into the nape a little bit. You don't want it too, too heavy throughout the bottom. As you start to cut this, you're gonna see it's gonna start leaving kind of like a little bit of a ridge, which is normal because we have to go back in and finish blending it. So don't get freaked out if you see any sort of lines, any sort of ridge or anything like that. It's totally normal, okay? So we're combing this straight out. Everything is pretty much 90 degrees which means it's straight out from the head, which the way it grows here throughout the back. And we're gonna just continue to do the entire back just like this. As you can see, combing it straight out. And the last section right here, right into the corner, we're gonna pull it a little bit towards us, and then we're good to go. Now, <clears throat> see it leaves, leaves a little bit of a ridge, and that's totally fine, because what we have to do now is come back in and connect the bottom. So there's that part that needs to come off right in through here, which will eliminate it. So we're basically just tapering it and blending it in. And there's that piece right in through the bottom that needs to come off. Okay. Once you cut that, then you've got a solid blend and a flow, as you can see right in this one section here, that you get rid of that. <clears throat> if you want, you can come in like this and cut over your fingers this way, whatever's more comfortable for you. But as, as you continue to do this, what's going to happen is you're going to start to see that the line goes away because you're then blending it in, okay? And don't forget to go throughout section by section throughout the back to make sure it's all blended because that's the key. So finish this up here, and then once we're done with the back, we'll then move into creating the length and the layers on the side. All right, so now we're going to be cutting the length into the sides. And what you want to do is you want to leave a little bit of length. Now, again, this is a mannequin, so it acts a little bit differently than how it would on a human. So, um, sorry, just wiping some of the water. So we want to cut this a little bit longer than what we probably would if it was on a uh, person, a live model. So we're cutting it there. Remember, this all has to go back, okay? So as you can see, what happens is it wants to grow forward because the way it is. So we're going to have a, kind of a hard time brushing it back, but that's kind of the the idea is to have this long enough to where it goes back, okay? So we're cutting this halfway uh, down the ear like this, and we're gonna bring everything to this one point just like that, and we're gonna cut it straight off, okay? We're gonna keep it relatively simple. Everything comes down to here. We're gonna hold it with our comb just like this, and we're cutting straight across, okay? Again, so now this go, comes into the front, this is crucial. You don't want to cut this too short because once you do, it's too late. So you want to comb this back and bring it around this way so you have a little extra length to work with, all right? Just like that, see? And if you cut this too short, then it's going to pop up this way. So you want to leave that length into there that it goes back just like this, okay? Now for the corner right into here. There's our layer from underneath, which we had cut previously. And now we're just going to connect the sides right in through that corner 
into the back just like that. Okay, there we go. It all goes back nicely. Now, we're gonna do the same thing on the other side, and then uh, what we'll do is we'll layer the top a little bit, and then we'll almost be done. All right, so now what we're gonna do is we're going to layer the top, and what we're gonna do is bring everything, again, straight out from the head. We're gonna to continue to follow the head shape, because that's gonna give the best cut and the best blend overall. So we're literally pulling everything straight out from the head and just following completely around this way. Body position is definitely always important. You wanna make sure that your elbows are, you know, parallel and they're straight, they're not bent down like this. You see a lot of people bending down. You wanna make sure that you keep your elbows very, very tight and very straight. When you hold your elbow up this way, pointing to the sky, you're cutting shorter to longer. So you wanna keep everything kind of in line with following the head shape and keeping everything well balanced. Now we're gonna jump onto this side here. And as you can see again, I'm bringing everything straight out from the head. And that's gonna keep everything really, really even and it's gonna keep it very consistent with your shape. Now we're working on the corners into here, which we'll get to. Now for the very top, what I'm going to do is I'm going to connect this now from the back, which we just cut, working in through the top. There's our piece where we left off right there. And that's gonna be used as our guide to connect. Because you don't wanna hold it straight up like this. If you hold it straight up and cut it across, you're gonna create another line. So I always use this technique to blend in going this way. Then once I have that guide where it's connected and blended from the back into the top, then I can hold everything horizontally and straight up and cut it straight across, which is what we're gonna do now. So we'll take our section right like this, <clears throat> right down the middle. We're gonna hold it straight up, just like that, and we're cutting it off. Now we're probably leaving the top of the head probably I'd say a good five inches or so, maybe even six, just like that. As you can see, it's almost like half, a little more than, probably three quarters of the length of the comb, like this. I have a little bit of a longer comb here, but I'd say it's probably at least five inches or so as far as the length on top. Holding everything straight up. And since we cut the top already, when we cut the sides, we brought it back. Probably not gonna have much to cut in the very, very front, just a little bit, just like that. Now to keep things going, since we're on a roll here, we're gonna work into the corners and to the sides. So again, we're combing it straight out and we're cutting now into the bottom here and we're keeping everything very even and consistent. You wanna have a nice overall blended shape throughout the whole thing. Now because he has this particular style, on a little bit of the longer side, there's no clippers involved, it's not super, super short, it's best to keep things very even and very well balanced throughout this entire haircut. And this front, which we cut already, if you want, bring this back. If there's any sort of pieces that need to be kind of blended, then now's the time to do it. And obviously you can see there's not much. The same thing on the other side. I like to stand this way, okay? Because I'm now facing the, the, the mannequin. And actually, let's turn the head this way so you guys can see. I'm face, my, my chest is facing this way, so you would have to turn your body around. This way you're getting a good angle on the whole thing, <clears throat> and you're seeing it from a different perspective. If you throw your arms over this way, it puts you in a very uncomfortable position, and I don't really like doing that, and I don't suggest doing it. So you just change body position and turn, simply turn around, okay? So uh, this is pretty much it, and uh, let's get into the blow drying. All right, guys, so this is one way of how Leonardo DiCaprio has his hair, because in, in the film, a lot of times he's, you know, running around, especially towards the middle, towards the end, a lot more water involved, and his hair is like this. So um, this is what it looks like with just kind of water in it. As you can see, it kind of goes back and then tapers down um, in through the bottom and through here. Okay, going around this side. So here's the length in the back again. It's probably about, I'd say, four to five inches, and then tapers down to about... I'd say an inch and a half uh, into the very, very bottom like this. The length in the side here is about, I'd probably say to the middle of the ear, just on this particular mannequin. The top, probably about five and a half, to probably six inches most. And as you can see, it kind of goes back to front, 
comes down to, I'd probably say like the chin or so, um, to the lip, right into here, if you bring it straight, straight down like this. Uh, but when you bring it over, it comes down to the lip right into here, okay? So this is one way. And then I'm gonna show you the second way of how we had it, which was all slick back. Well guys, here's the finished look uh, for the second way Leonardo had his hair in Titanic. Uh, this goes back, the only reason this is sticking out like here is just because it's the mannequin head um, of the hairline into the sides here. But if it goes slick back, as you can see, um, there it's tapered back like that. Same thing on this side, and I used uh, American Crew. I used the grooming cream, and I put it in when it's wet, and I just took the comb, and I slicked it all back uh, this way. All right, and then it tapers down into the back like this throughout the nape and on both sides. And now the style is complete. Well guys, thank you so much for watching. Leonardo, thank you for being a model here. <laughs> Don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave the comments. And Happy New Year again to everyone. And I will see you guys soon for more tutorials with the Salon Guy. Hey guys, thank you so much for watching my videos. It really means a lot to me. Don't forget to like, leave comments, and also subscribe. So as you can see here, I've got celebrity interviews, I've got event coverage, and also more tutorials. So don't forget to subscribe and keep watching.